What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studios here in New York City. Uh, we are really, really happy to be joined today by Nay Palm. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for coming and joining us today. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's our pleasure. Uh, you guys, <laughs> you have a new record out. Uh, not out yet. It's out October 20th. It yeah, is your solo debut. Hopefully it's not out. No, it's not out. I've heard it, <laughs> but everyone else has not heard it. I'm the only one. All right. Exclusive. Um, it's called Needle Paw. It's your solo debut. Mm. Uh, it's a really wonderful album, and you're going to play some songs from that for us today. Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit about the first song you're going to do for us. Uh, first song is a Jimi Hendrix cover. Um, I just wanted to, like with this record, I wanted to celebrate the the songwriting element like for all the covers it's more of a celebration of the writers as opposed to just like guitar chops or something you know I feel like people tend to get a little bit distracted by that so I just wanted to like make something really raw and simple and direct and emotional hopefully yeah cool um my guitar is called Michael Jackson by the way <laughs> Have you ever been? Have you ever been to Electric Lady Land? The magic carpet waits for you, so don't you be late, baby? No. different emotions I wanna ride through sound and emotion I wear electric woman wait for you and me so it's time we take a ride cast our hang ups over the sea Sad and oh, why we fly right over the love and sea. Look up ahead, I see the love land. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, Penetrate the sky. I want to show you love. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 well, oh, electric woman, wait for you and me. Yeah. So it's time we take a ride. Cast our hang up so the sea. Over the loving sea Look up ahead I see the love land Do you understand?
Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's really beautiful. Um, I have always personally thought, maybe you agree, that Hendrix's best songs are his ballads, not the one where he's the ones where he's like shredding, shredding on guitar. Mm -hmm. Wind cries Mary, Bold as Love, mm -hmm. Castles Made of Sand. Uh, and so it's great to hear a song, a version of one of his songs that really accentuates that soulfulness, that simplicity. And that kind of leads me to uh, your record uh, that song appears on Needlepaw and when I was listening to the album what I noticed mostly was that like compared to uh, Hi Hiatus Coyote which is your main <laughs> your main band people probably know you as the lead singer of Hiatus Coyote uh, you got it you're nailing it but this record is it seems more stripped down like um, it's sort of you and a guitar not a lot of extra elements it's it's uh, it's much more simplified. Was that something that you were really del deliberately going for, for this one? Yeah, for sure. Um, hiatus is a wonder child, and there's like so much complexity and density and detail, and I just wanted to like make, it's kind of like, I just kind of really needed to do it for myself and remind myself like what it is, like the core of who I am and, I wanted to contribute something to the world that was very like raw and human because I feel like, you know, like th that is an element that is slowly, surely being filtered out of the arts, you know, and, and um, I just wanted to, I wanted to do something that was really like n naked and imperfect, but you know, there, I feel like there's a lot of power in doing that and it can, it can help people empathize with their own struggles or whatever it is that they're they're going through so yeah that was a really conscious decision there's the only other instrument on the record is a chorus player and i open and close the album with a aboriginal ceremonial singer called jason guruwiwi and he mm -hmm. plays um clapsticks on that so everything else is a million layers of guitar and vocals and um and that's it. But there's still like so much you can do with that. As yeah. Well. well, I was going to ask, like, is that something, you know, so you sort of set that you set that up for yourself. Like this is how you wanted to make this record, your solo de debut. Mm -hmm. Were you ever at a point while you were making it where you were like, God, I, w I would love some drums right there or some bass right there. Did you have to like hold yourself back or was it totally natural to do it this way? Uh, well, no, it's like, I guess, um, for example, I play bass lines on a nylon so then in the layers of guitar, it's like I just got like a nylon string and made it really dirty and played like, it was actually really fun. I think I want to be a bass player in like a side <laughs> project. Yeah. What's your bass going to be named? Like Prince? Because uh, you have Michael Jackson, the guitar. What would you name your bass? Probably Tarantula. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That would have been my third, my third guess. Not my second. Um, uh, yeah, and any like you know percussive elements, you just find another way to do it. You know, like with um, with vocal technique or you know just like yeah, little yeah. Or, like harmonics and stuff, and it's just like makes it really like makes the macro ideas really minimal. Or or when I'm putting vocal layers together, I hear it in an orchestral way. So if I want like a string section, I just like come up with like a weird vocal like sing the string section yeah yeah cool. there's so much you can do with the human human voice it's really malleable yeah yeah cool um so tell us about the next song you're gonna do from the record uh the next song i think will be atari which is um i grew up with four brothers and it's like a, a tribute to the the game console <laughs> Um, and I was reading this Yoruba, um, uh, a book that's uh, 
it's like Yoruba, Yoruba proverbs, and it's really amazing that my friend Dom gave me, who's watching, shout out Dom, aka Shea Butter Love. <laughs> and Atari is like a Yoruba word, which means like the top of your head as well, like the like a celestial way of seeing, which I only just recently found out, which yeah. is pretty rad. You're definitely not the only one who did not know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe it's also about that. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. 
you'll find be tough. Let the easy fly off the edge of time. Thank you. You're welcome. That was so beautiful. I wanna, I'm want i wondering, like, uh, were you a long-time student of the guitar when you were younger? What, when did you start playing? Uh, maybe around, like, 14, 13, 14. Did you take lessons for a long time, or is that all you? No, I've, yeah, I've just um, I've never been formally trained in anything. I'd like to be formally trained in, like, some kind of cool martial art, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I just, um, I was really fortunate to be raised on a lot of different music from everywhere and so my ear was developed to just like a lot of different advanced harmony and time signature stuff, you know, like a lot of like flamenco or like Northwest African music or Japanese classical or, you know, kind of everything. And so when you're young and you're absorbing this information, when I went to write naturally, I kind of didn't really hear songs in a st regular st st structured format, I guess. Yeah. And it wasn't until I um, started working with the boys in the band that like, because um, Bender and Simon are, are both classically trained. Like Simon was classically trained since he was like four. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like maybe borderline savant, but um, yeah, I didn't realize that the, the things I was writing was complex until I had somebody who actually knew the theory side of it kind of break it down and was like, I don't know what you're doing, but like, we'll just like work on that. Right, yeah, do you know what you're, yeah, right. Yeah, I actually really love it if I um, surprise, Bender, Bender's my, like, if I surprise Bender, then I'm kind of, I know I'm like doing something good. If he's like, what? Like that doesn't harmonically make sense, but somehow it works, like, then yeah. Yeah. And That's just cool. one, one other question. I'm always really fascinated by, by the instrumentalists who you have who are really the great, the great players. Do you ever use a pick or are you all finger picking all the time? No, I, I feel really like, I like to feel what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, picks are. I actually wanted to, um, I'm going to take my reel. I wanted to um, start playing with a comb. Apparently it's like a super, like I'm not a metal guitarist, even though my guitar is kind of metal <laughs> <laughs> um apparently you can play like a lot of metal guitarists use a comb like a hair comb like because like, it, it's it like brushes all the strings at once yeah kinda. when you can get more detail and so i just wanted to maybe like use a comb and like a bit crush pedal just as like a kind of yeah. effect thing but not as a i'm not a precision player <laughs> let's just put it that way <laughs> It's kind of however I'm feeling on the day. <laughs> um, and just to get back to the album for a second, uh, so that song, Atari, um, mm. is a song that appeared uh, on a Hiatus Coyote record. Yeah. And Chaser there are a few songs on, on your new one uh, that are, are like reimagined recordings of songs that you've done in your band. Mm -hmm. What was the impetus behind, behind that, sort of taking these songs and, and, and repackaging them in this new format? Um, well, I guess like... I just wanted to show people like the roots of the song. So the songs that are hiatus songs are the ones that are on needle pour are the ones that I've like written and brought to the table. Cause we all, it's kind of like a four way collaboration. Like we all write and you know, just kind of like vulture on each other's ideas and stuff. So, um, you know, I wanted to give people a more just like stripped back version of it. You know, like sometimes 
like there's a live version of D'Angelo playing um, like Spanish joint in Africa and it's just him and a piano and I love the album version but I also love like it suits different moods you know mm -hmm. like sometimes you want something gentle and intimate and other times you want like the cosmos on your doorstep sonically you know so it's just like giving people another window into the writing process you know and there'll be there's new songs i'm going to play a new song next okay um that may be may make the next hiatus record you know and so it kind of gives people a window into like what we do with it and how it evolves into whatever it evolves into yeah that's yeah. cool so tell us uh tell us what that song is going to be song is called crossfire and i just recently uh shot a video for it which was really fun and hilarious because I was the pyrotechnic, like pyrotechnician, but I don't really have any training in that department. But because I used to do fire swords, everyone on the film team just kind of like trusted me, which maybe they shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, maybe just that one time. Yeah, but it was so fun. I just like was like playing and drinking champagne and setting shit on fire and it was just kind of like <laughs> yeah when people say that you're playing with fire that's usually like a metaphor for something that's dangerous but in yeah. this case it was like a literal yeah. you were actually playing with fire a lot of yeah. fire <laughs> well that's where napalm comes from because i used to do like fire dancing and so i performed doing that before i performed before i had the courage to perform as a musician F playing with fire in a performance context is way easier than pouring your soul out, apparently. Um, Doing them both at the same time, though. Yeah, very, that's, very hard. The ne that's the next step. I'm not like, I'm not quite there yeah. yet. <laughs> next time you see me, there'll be like fireworks shooting up. Right, there. shooting out, yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a spectacle. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. Um, okay. <laughs> This song is called Crestfire. Hence all the fire in the video. When you fall in love, ah, when you fall in love, when you fall in love. Fall in love, yeah. How can I defend how good it is to define when you call it a day before you've given it any of your time? A crossroad is better than a crossfire, better than a crossfire, yeah. Crossroad is better when you fall in love. Ah, when you fall in love, when you fall in love, when you fall in love. How can I begin if you're shooting it down when you want my love, but you don't want to give any of yours up? Fire, oh, 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 fire, 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 yeah. How to keep up when they turn to better use? How do I give love when it's serving only? Fall in love, 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 fall 
Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I'm a little hungover, but we know we got through it. That's all right. We have beer in the back if you want to get started again. Hair <laughs> of the dog. All right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Napalm, the album is called Needle Paw. Mm-hmm. It is your solo debut. Yeah. Uh, it's coming out on October 20th. Uh, so, congratulations on that. Thanks. Um, it's really great. And you got, you're going on tour. I know you have some shows coming up here in New York City, uh, October 15th at the Bowery Ballroom. October 16th at the Music Hall of Williamsburg. Yeah. Uh, but there are more dates for everyone to go and find at napalm.com. 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 You got a URL now. That's Such right. an adult. Um, <laughs> you have your, you, that's how you know that you have arrived. Right. A, you have a URL, and B, you're playing at Paste. That's right. Yeah, right. Uh, no, not the second one. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for uh, for coming and playing in our little library here today. Thanks for uh, having me. Can you great. recommend a book, or are they just prop books? These are all uh, concert master tapes. Oh wow! Yeah, going back like decades and decades. And wow, now wow. you will be in our library too. I'm gonna be in the library. That's right, right next Sick. to like Hendrix and all kinds of people who who yeah. you have played. Let's make that happen. Yeah. Is there like a get smart door? That I can my one be the get smart door that opens? It? Sadly, no. Sadly, okay. no. They're, the get smart door just leads to the bathroom. We it's, don't have the budget for yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, thank you again for coming and playing uh, your songs for us today. And come back to Pace and play for us again anytime. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody.